Hey guys, what's going on? So I decided today I was going to address one of the main questions I get on the channel, which is how did you build your wooden ramps? And I kind of threw these together in the middle of working on a car just because I needed some more lift. And this is just sort of what I had. So the measurements are kind of arbitrary, but I went ahead and wrote them down. Uh, the longest one's five feet, four feet, three feet, 26 inches and 18 inches on the smallest one. If you were going to make these yourself, I'd probably suggest picking a more uniform measurement. It'd be easier probably. But if you wanted to make these exact ones, uh, you'd need a total of 32 feet of wood. And I use two by tens, which is a pretty good width for everything I've worked on so far. No complaints there. Um, so the way I've ended up drilling these together, I use wood screws and sort of alternated uh, on each level how I put the wood screws in so I didn't put them in the exact same place on each on each level sort of in a zigzag pattern so they all sort of tighten down evenly and I think I've had these roughly three years and they still look great I'll go ahead and get a height measurement for you real quick So roughly eight inches, which has been plenty for me to do. Obviously oil changes, transmission fluid. Um, I've backed up my golf on the top to do some exhaust work, install a hitch. So they're really useful. Um, I'd say the only downside is they're pretty heavy. So I'm probably, I'm thinking about throwing on some little handles uh, on the back side just to make them a little bit easier to lift up. But other than that, you feel really safe underneath them. Um, those plastic ones, I just always felt a little unsafe underneath those. And these just, it's just much more relaxing to work on the car. And you can tell how solid these things are. And I use treated lumber, which is probably why they're so heavy. But, uh, but yeah, hope that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more of this style of video. Um, I still plan on doing my normal, normal DIYs, step-by-step, uh, -step, you know, minimal talking uh, style of videos. But if you guys would be interested in me doing sort of, you know, vlog style when I'm just working on uh, on things I've either done videos on before or don't really require making a whole video. Just kind of working in the garage, messing around. Um, let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. Or if not, just tell me to keep doing what I'm doing. And I will try to work on some more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.